Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. You may know Skillshare for classes in photography, film and video editing, and illustration. But did you know that Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes too, ranging from financial management to building a creative career? Personally, I want to be a better artist this year, to learn how to draw better. So I went for Digital Anime Coloring and Shading Masterclass by Juha Ekman. From his class, I learned how to color and shade anime eyes, clothes, and common objects. The class mainly focuses on cell shading and lighting techniques. It's a great introduction to coloring anime for beginners. Not only that, you get to access the demo drawing files in PSD and CSP for further practice. If you're interested, jumpstart your 2023 goals now with this exclusive offer. Try Skillshare free for 7 days and then get 20% off your first year. Konnichiwa, Atsenpai desu. Are you aspiring to become a full-time artist? To make a living off art? If the answers are yes, then commissions is probably what you should start doing because it is one of the most common ways an artist earns money. And sometimes, it's big money. Speaking of money, how much should you price your art? How much is it worth? Well, today, I'm here to guide you. When it comes to setting a price, what you want to do first is to take 10 samples of different artists whose art level you feel is similar or close to yours. If you're not sure of your art level or your sample's art level, I recommend you to check this video of mine out. This video will help you to identify what level you or your sample are currently at, or at least closest to it. Picking samples that are on the same level as you is very important for setting your commission prices because there's a different market price for every skill level. As you go up higher in skill level, commission prices would naturally be more expensive. I'm charging $69 for a drawing of a man pooping. So what you want to do is to find drawings whose skill level you feel is similar to yours. Then, look at the prices charged by people of that level and pick any 10 of those. Now you have yourself a price range that you can charge for your commissions. The reason why you set your prices at the market price is because if you're charging too high, people may feel your skill level is not up to par, and charging too low, you're basically underselling yourself. So having a price range will help you to determine the most optimum commission prices. You can use the 10 samples you have picked earlier to set up your commission board. All you need to do is just refer to their categories and the prices they charge for each category. Categories are portrait sizes that you would be offering. For example, medium close-up, medium full shot, and full shot. As for what category and prices you want to offer for your commissions, I won't go deep into that. The thing I want to focus on are the general guidelines when setting up a commission board. For this section, I'm going to use my commission board as an example. The most important aspect of a commission board is the text of the categories and pricing, which means the text must be noticeable and clear. The second important aspect is the images. Make sure the illustration examples selected for each category are cropped to the same size. Also, select only the best artwork for that category, but never reuse the same artwork for different categories. It's best to showcase a variety of drawings with different poses, styles, and color schemes so that your commission board is eye-catching. Senpai, check out my commission board. It has various categories with pictures in different poses. To sum it up, the commission board has to be concise, clean, and organized. Also, make sure important information like prizes and categories are highlighted and clear. Now, marketing is a very important step, if not the most important step to successfully earn money through commission. Marketing is very different from the previous two steps, because if we look at the previous two steps, determining prices and setting up a commission board, these two steps are a one-time thing, whereas marketing, on the other hand, is a constant effort. It's something that you have to do constantly if you want to attract potential customers. So what is marketing? Marketing is basically promoting and advertising yourself. Are you telling me to become Belle Delphine? No, not that kind of self-promotion. I would say the majority of the marketing is done on Twitter, because interactions are far more frequent there. There are a few ways to do this. The first way is by participating in art sharing threads on Twitter. People would gather to share their drawings and view other people's drawings. It's one of the best ways to gain exposure among artists. The second way is through art exchanges. Basically, you just exchange your drawings with another person. Feel free to support me on Patreon, I really appreciate it. Please drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter. DM me if you want a commission from me. Alright, that's all from me. Jana, who